2D platformers have been making a big return in recent years, as gamers have been demanding more challenging games. Anyone who's played games from previous generations know that back then there was far less hand-holding and a steeper learning curve. While to some that may sound like a negative, the hope was that a good game would use this and instill a sense of accomplishment in players who brave them. Last year, players found this in the indie hit known as Shovel Knight, and we're going to profile the game's creator, Yacht Club, on today's Developing Devs. After leaving Way4 Technologies in 2013, former director Sean Velasco created his own company, joining together with several game creators who had left their own developers around the same time. When asked about the change, Velasco told the press, we want to create fun and challenging gameplay with concise and polished mechanics. Yacht Club Games revealed itself to the public on March 6, 2013, and would reveal their first creative endeavor less than a month later. On March 15th, Yacht Club unveiled their first game, Shovel Knight, which they describe as a hot mashup of new and old that may remind you of Mega Man, Castlevania, and Dark Souls. In it, players would play as Shovel Knight, a retired warrior returning to free the land from an evil enchantress and her colorful knights that ruled over the kingdom. As this was the new company's first game, they went to Kickstarter and asked for $75,000, which the company made quickly before their campaign ended on April 3rd, earning over $311,000. Yacht Club went deep into development after this, and while the game looked like it would reach its September 2013 release date, numerous delays pushed the release back to June 26, 2014. The game was praised for its surprising variety, with each level adding a new element to traditional platforming gameplay, such as different environmental factors, enemies, and level designs. The game received critical acclaim upon launch, earning a 90 on Metacritic, and winning a number of Game of the Year awards. Since the game's release, Yacht Club has spent the following year porting the game to the PlayStation 3, 4, and Vita, including a new level where the final boss is PlayStation icon Kratos. And coming before the end of the year, an expansion called Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows will add a new playable character to the game, Plague Knight, who Yacht Club promises will play completely different. Only time will tell what new ideas will come from this newly birthed developer, but if it's anything like their first outing, we're expecting great things from whatever their sophomore effort will be.